Hey everyone, today is a very special day, it's Jinday's birthday, yay! So Jinday was reborn today at 7 something in the morning, I've forgotten what time, I'll put it on the screen. His weight is um, not applicable because of being a toddler, toddlers are actually weighted very differently. So I'll get into that in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you an overview of him. So Jinday is the aerial sculpt by Joanna Kay or Kaz Muzak, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and he is 26 inches tall. As you can see, he's a standing toddler and he can stand on his own depending on the situation. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment as well. So, um, as you can see, he looks absolutely adorable. He um, has this hat on that I made him last night and his cute little dinosaur um, top. But it's got a little cactus on it as well. I just think that top is so cool. I brought him these little chinos um, for his birthday and he's got some little shoes on. So I think he's actually better dressed than I am most days. <laughs> so he also has a little dinosaur in his hand. If you haven't followed his um, little story, you would know that that dinosaur never really leaves him. And I like the fact that you can see he's actually got his fingers around that little dinosaur hand. So it's quite cute. So uh, let's get into some things about Jinday. <laughs> This guy has been such a mission to make. Painting wise he went really really well um, and hair wise he went really well as well. But sealing him has been a little bit of an issue. Um, a couple of times I've had to rebake his, le his legs. Um, they would turn white so um, I knew that the sealant wasn't fully cured so I have to fix that and then his arms for some reason both elbows lost all of their sealant and started to rub and I definitely know that I sealed them but I've just resealed them yesterday so he is good to go everything is now sorted his eyes are a pain um, for some reason these glass eyes that are 20 millimeter which is the size of his eye sockets just don't want to sit straight so he's going to always look a little cross-eyed just a little but I actually think it's quite endearing and I've really come to like it now he has little teeth as well um, and I think it's really cute and he has a whole bunch of black mo here um, underneath that hat but I don't want to knock him down <laughs> um, and I had quite a lot of um, comments about his hair I made a little bit of a rant on Facebook about it just because I was feeling a little bit attacked because um, it only took me two days to do his hair but um, I explained why and everything in there and I feel so much better but um, this wee guy is super special to me, so I think that's why I got a little bit upset as to everyone thinking his hair wasn't done properly. I can assure you, it certainly is. Um, as for weighting him and making him stand, I really wanted to be able to stand him on his own. Um, he's currently half leaning against the wall and half standing on his own. Um, the dinosaur does make that difference where he will fall if um, the dinosaur's in his arms because it's just weighing him down. So he definitely needs to be holding things that are lighter than the dinosaur if he's going to be standing by himself. And I think I got so focused on trying to make him stand on his own that um, I got a little bit obsessive with it. And um, I actually don't think I'll be wanting him to stand on his own too often. So, yeah. He has a pool noodle. I'm not kidding you. A pool noodle in the middle of his stomach and goes into his head. If he didn't have that in there, his head would just collapse down all the time. He's ex he actually has no weighting in his head, just fiber fill. And his body, that's all he has as well. And the pool noodle, pool noodle. in his arms, he's only weighted to his wrists with glass beads and then the rest is polyfill and then he's weighted to his knees just below his knees and the rest is all polyfill so he's not weighted to be very heavy because toddlers don't actually need to be that heavy um, if you want them to stand um, but and if you want the legs and arms to stay on the body but um, he is still quite you know quite heavy to carry around for me um, I would say that Nico and Octavia are heavier than him, but they're the only two that would be. The rest are all around his weight, so it's not too bad. That's why I just don't plan to weigh him, because I just don't see any point. Um, and yeah, I just think he's really, really cute. I actually had his arms weighted to his elbows, and he would just keep toppling over. So 
yeah, I've just noticed there's a thread hanging here that's really annoying. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much about why um, he's weighted the way he is. He's got a whole bunch of clothes that I cannot wait to try on him. I actually made him two hats last night because I was really bored. I really love the one that he's wearing though. It just It's really um, earth toned and I think it's going to look really cute on him with a lot of clothes that he has. So his theme is dinosaurs, if you can't tell, um, and Jinde is based off of a child, also named Jinde, um, who she is the same birthday, so I think it's really, really cute, and um, I think the dinosaur theme is going to really suit him. There's a lot of dinosaur things around for his size, so I'm very excited to try him in those, but also he has quite a few just different outfits as well. Um... I think that's pretty much all I want to say about Jinde. I think he's just going to be really fun um, to have around the house. And I'm so glad he's finally finished because this has been a long dream in the making. I got his kit very, 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 very early this year. And I've been carrying him around uh, unpainted everywhere I go um, some days. And um, yeah, I just love him so much. And so now seeing him, the final product, it's just... I'm just so happy and over the moon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am now going to take a couple more photos of Jinde. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my day and he's going to enjoy his. Thanks for watching, guys. And I might or might not add in a couple of those photos at the end of this video um, for you all to see. Bye.